Hello children, how are you all? Hope you are all safe and good. Can you guess what picture you are seeing here? Yes, you are right. This is a pie. Pie is a type of food consisting of fruit, meat or vegetable inside a pastry case. It is a favorite food for Americans. Before getting into the topic, let us recall a few points. This is a circle. So it represents one whole. So this is half and this is another half. So each part represents 1 by 4 that is quarter. How many parts are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 equal parts are there. So each part represents 1 eighth. Remember this children. This will be helpful for drawing the pie chart. Let us see the interpretation of pie chart. Priya collected data about the food liked by most of the children. She constructed the pie chart for the collected data. Observe the pie chart and answer the following questions if the data was collected from 240 students. From 240 students, Priya have collected the details. The collected details are represented as a pie chart here. Look at this pie chart and answer the following questions. First one, which food item is liked by most of the students? Look at the pie chart. Which region is more sandwich? So, most of the children like sandwich. So, sandwich is the answer. Next, which two food items are equally liked by the students? So, which two items are equally liked? Look at the picture and answer. Upma and boiled eggs are equal in size. So, Upma and boiled eggs are liked by equal number of students. Next, which food item is least liked by the students? What does mean by least? Least means minimum. So, which is very small amount? Fruit salad. So, fruit salad is the answer. Let us interpret one more question. The pie chart given below represents the different seasons of India. The pie chart is divided into 12 equal parts. Each part shows one month. Fill in the following table with the help of the pie chart. Pie chart is given Spring, Monsoon, Atom, Winter and Summer seasons are given. So this pie chart is divided into 12 equal parts. So we have to write the number of months for the given season. First what season is given? Winter. Look at the pie chart. Where is winter? Here it is. So winter is represented in pink color. So how many pink colors are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So how many months? 4 months. So write 4. Monsoon. Where is monsoon? So here it is. And purple color so how many more how many months one two so straight away to monsoon we can write two next spring where is spring it is given in blue color only one month so we can write one atom where is atom here it represented in yellow color so just one month next summer where is summer summer season is given in orange color how many months are there one two three four so write four here so this is how we have to interpret the given pie chart that is understand the given pie chart and answer the following questions. Now, let us see how to draw a pie chart using the given data. There are 1000 children in a school. 500 of them commute by school bus, 250 of them by car, 125 walk and the rest use bicycle for 
reaching the school. Draw a pie chart for the data. What are the data is given? Solution. Total number of children is thousand out of the thousand children how many of them are coming by school bus 500 number of children using school bus is equal to 500 how many children are coming by car 250 so number of children using car is equal to 250 how many of them are coming on foot that is by walking 125 and the rest use bicycle how will you find the rest of the children we have to add the number of children those who are coming by school bus car and by walking add this and the sum should be subtracted from thousand then we will get the number of children those who are coming by bicycle. Draw a rough column. Write the numbers according to their place value and add it. 5, 5 plus 2, 7, 5 plus 2, 7, 7 plus 1. 875 so we have to subtract this 875 from 1000 1000 minus 875 subtract it so here we cannot subtract 5 from 0 so borrow from the previous digit here also 0 here also 0 so we can borrow from 1 it will become 0 and this will become 9 this will become 9 and this will become 10 so 10 minus 5 is 5 9 minus 7 2 9 minus 8 1 here it is 0 no value so leave it so 125 so how many students are coming by bicycle 125 so write that number of children using bicycle is equal to 125. Now we are going to represent this data in a pie chart. For that we need to write this as a fraction. How to write fraction of children using school bus. So how to write the fraction so, 500 children are using school bus out of the total number 1000. So, we can write this as 500 by total number of children that is 1000. So, 500 by 1000. Similarly, we have to write the fraction for all car, walk and bicycle. Fraction of children using car 250 by fraction of children who work is equal to 125 by 1000 next fraction of children Using bicycle is equal to 125 by 1000. Now, we have written everything in the form of fraction. Now, simplify the fraction. 500 and 1000. So, two zeros and two zeros will get cancelled. Using 5 tables, we can cancel it. 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10. So, the fraction is 1 by 2. Fraction of children using car. So here we can cut 0 and 0. So in 25 tables if we cut 25 ones are 25, 25 fours are 100. So we can write this as 1 by 4. Here 
in 125 tables if we cut 1 time here it is 8 times that is equal to 1 by 8 similarly 125 and 1000 can be cancelled 1 by 8 So now we got the fractions as 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 8 and 1 by 8. Now we are going to represent this in pie chart. For that we have to draw a circle first. After drawing the circle, mark the center point. Now we are going to represent the fractions in a pie chart. Fraction of children using school bus is 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 means half of the circle. So with the center you can draw. So half of the students are coming by bus. So this half we can take it as a bus and this one we can divide further. Fraction of children using a car is 1 by 4. So 1 by 4 means this half should be further divided into half again. So this gives 1 fourth. Fraction of children who walk is 1 eighth. So 1 eighth is nothing but half of quarter. So we can divide this quarter part into two equal parts. Fraction of children using bicycle is also 1 by 8. So here 1 by 8 and another one gives 1 by 8. So this is 1 by 2, this is 1 by 4 and these two are 1 by 8. We can give different colors. For school bus, we can give yellow. This one car and this is those who are coming by walk. And this is coming by bicycle. We can give different colors. For cycle, I'm going to give orange. For car, I'm going to give red color. Those who are coming on foot, I'm going to give blue color we have drawn the pie chart now and we have to give the title for the pie chart mode of transport to school this is how we have to draw a pie chart for the given data hope you all understood thank you children have a nice day